This is an initial and incomplete draft of a data collection software with interfaces for LabJack and Arduino. The goal is to keep the usage simple and to standardize data storage, making data exchange within a team or with other interested parties more accessible. I made a little demo project so you can see some of the features of the program so far. Choose the main folder for the data. Create a new name for the project and add a description. Within this project you can have multiple series of tests. A test series can also be one test with calibration runs. Then you add a description of it again. Now we want to do a new experiment. In the data source tab you can add lab check ports or Arduino sensors and test the connection of the devices. In my case a webcam and an Arduino Mega, which is configured to be a master device, are attached to the computer. Then there's a slave Arduino Nano attached to the master. Both Arduinos have one or more sensors attached to them. A temperature and humidity sensor on the Arduino Mega and a K-type thermocouple on the Nano. The master collects the data of all slaves and hands them over to the software when requested. Alright, let's see the video settings. You can choose the resolution for the video and this video will also be recorded into the test run folder in your project folder. I connect to the webcam and tell it to start recording when the run starts. Then I select which sensors are overlaid onto the video. This overlay will also be included in the recording. They can be dragged around. Now I go back and add a description for this run. I want to see how hot a fresh made muffin is. After checking the settings for the plot, I'm ready for the run. Good, both thermocouple values are not too far away from each other. Now let's put the K-type thermocouple into the muffin. Fast response there. And this is how the video feed looks. Well, a pity that I found this short test very inconclusive. I will have to request many more test objects. If I was to do another test run with the same settings, I would just have to add a new test run description and click on start again.